Hello and welcome to Dream Infinity Studios tutorials on um, how to use guides. Now, I know some of you may like, I already know how to use guides. Why should you make a tutorial on guides? Well, um, there's a lot of secrets about the guides in Illustrator that not many people know about. And um, they're actually really, really, really useful, especially if you're doing a lot of designs based on um, angles and, you know, just designs that go all over the place. Now, um, I'm going to first talk about some pre, you know, I'm going to load up basically some pre-existed business cards for now. Um, one of the things I'm going to load up, uh, let's see, I'll load up this guy. And then I'm going to copy it here. Now, let's say this is our size of a business card. It's not. Um, it actually has bleed marks um, intact, but it's okay. Um, so, guides. What what are guides? Well, guides are basically lines of um, you know, that you can kind of set up. You drag guides if you don't know by clicking the rulers. If you don't see a ruler, hit Control R or go to View, Show um, Show Rulers wherever that is. Right here. Oops. Let me maximize this window. Okay. So you drag a guide, and if it um, if you don't see it, um, go to view, uh, show guides. Uh, where is it? Oh my gosh, I just, oh here, show guides. Hide, show. Okay. Now, um, so you, let's say we want to drag guides. The reason why I want to drag guides is basically to help us. Um, if we have another circle here, uh, maybe something smaller, but we want to align it together, it could help, it can help us align it. You know, um, just kind of bring it over, and here we go. Uh, let's say we have type. Um, I'm just going to type anything right now. And then, um, let's see. If, let's say we want to align this. You know, let's make it smaller. Well, guides help us. Um, guides, we could do horizontal and vertical. Um, but one thing you guys didn't know is that we can do diagonal guides. Um, before we get into that though, just to make sure, if you have guides up, but you can't move it anymore, like for instance like this, like it's locked, that's because your guides are locked. So you want to go into view, guides, and where's this lock guides, uncheck it. And basically in Illustrator, you could just hover over a rectangular button, a rectangular um, area like this, and it will select the guides for you, and you can just move it best part is you can move both guides at the same time unlike um, Photoshop oops like this so the guys move with you and everything there we go voila so uh, again let's get into guides to create a di diagonal guide it's actually really easy so let's say we have a design like this I'm gonna delete these two right now let's say we have a design like this we want this to exactly match the the baseline of the top of the square and the text, the bottom of the text. So basically, we want it to be sitting like this, but in a different angle, like that. Now we can do it like that, just how I did it right now. Um, basically, constrain um, when you drag things with Illustrator, you can constrain the drag. For instance, if you hold Shift and if you hold Shift and drag, all it does is move left and right. Or if you want to do up and down. All it does is move up and down. Now, with the 45 degree angle that, that we set up here, again, all we have to do is hit the rotate button, which is right here, and then just rotate it, holding shift, rotate, automatically 45. We sit and you know let us sit, and we just drag, hold shift and drag, and here we go. It's lined up. Now let's say we have, but however, let's say we have an object that's not 45 degrees angle. So right now I'm going to say it says negative 45 right now. Let's set it to negative 30. Now we can't constrain a proportional negative 30 accurately. We're going to have to sit in there and kind of use our eye. So what do we do? Well, we kind of have to use our eye no matter what. But we can still use guides. And to do that, we just basically bring down a guide like this. Right click. Select the guide. Right click. Transform. And then we do rotate. And then we do negative 30. Look at that. 
That is an ang guide in a, with a, on a 30 degree angle. And we select it, move it, then we move this text along the lines of the 30, 30 degree angle. So we could just work kind of, you know, carefully for now. Okay, I'm kind of doing a rough. There we go. And move the guides. It is sitting exactly in the guide. Um, the cool part about this is you can actually, you know, do various other things. For instance, we can, you know, basically make a guide in any degrees of um, we want. Now, another cool thing about guides is we can actually select, make um, guides out of shapes. For instance, we have a line. Well, actually, let me. There we go. So let's say we have a business card design. Um, I'm going to delete that. And let me go and change that real quick. So let's say we have a business card and we want to set up guides. Well, we can do that, but we don't have to have guides stretched out all the way from left to right. Um, again, we could make guides. Okay, that was weird. We could make guides um, based on lines. For instance, we make a line right here. Okay, just cut, just fill it for now. Make another guide right here. And then we're going to create a guide. So we right click this, make guides. And now it has become, just became our guide. We can also use shapes to make guides. And there we go. We have a guide now. So we can actually set up templates using guides already built in. Um, these guys work just like any other, these ruler guides does, do. do. Um, if you hit hide the guide, it will hide it. If you lock the guide, it will lock it. it um, you won't be able to move it anymore, um, touch it anymore. So it's basically just for being the purpose of being guides. It's not just a typical um, line. Um, cool thing about these guides is you can also drag the uh, segments using the, um, the direct um, selection tool and uh, actually modify and create guides that way too or change the size of the guides or change the angles. Again, another cool way. The best cool feature however is the fact that you can actually select the guide, um, arrange, uh, transform it, um, and rotate it around. So for instance, negative 45, we have a 45 degree angle set to work with your document. So again, that's a cool, um, handy little trick with guides in Illustrator CS 3 or 4.